Hey guys, welcome back to the channel Market Uncharted. We continue our series of options trading 101, checking one of my favorite uh, call uh, and options trading, which is the covered call. Uh, don't forget, we were seeing the last ones previously where we were discussing some price fluctuations. Uh, in this one, we expect consolidation. We expect minor price fluctuations, but let's uncover what is a covered call and then a few uh, ETFs on the subject. So basically, a covered call is a risk management and an options uh, strategy that involves holding a long position in the underlying asset, example a stock, and selling, writing a call option on the underlying asset, giving us profit, giving us some uh, cash flow. The strategy is usually employed by investors who believe that underlying asset will experience only minor price fluctuations. The main advantage of the covered call strategy is that an investor receives a guarantee income as a premium from the sale of a call option. If the price of the underlying asset slightly increases, the premium will raise the total return on the investment. In addition, if the price of the underlying asset slightly declines, the premium will offset the loss per portion. Don't forget, slightly, it's slow movements in the market. It's a consolidation, not upwards or downwards movement and not with a lot of volatility. All right, now that we uncover what the definition of a covered call, let's see a few examples of ETFs holding the covered call strategy. Because if you are not uh, doing this individually, we can already invest in some ETFs that do this for us. I put here some of uh, ideas about these ETFs, either the normal markets, either commodities, and then it's up to you to do your own due diligence and select the ones you like. I put here uh, KYLD, which is the NASDAQ 100 covered call ETF, XYLD, which is the S&P 500 covered call ETF, KNG, which is the 500 dividend aristocrats target income ETF, and also uh, RYLD, which is the Russell 2000 covered call ETF. So you see here, you would cover totally all the US uh, markets and you would put a strategy where you receive income on a monthly basis. And just to pin paint the picture that we were checking, here you can see that this covered call QYLD on the NASDAQ 100 covered call ETF doesn't have a really huge price fluctuation. If you see the normal NASDAQ 100 uh, graph, you see that the last two to two years we'd see uh, upward movement and you see that the covered call doesn't move as much. But on the other side, you have a monthly income, steady income that will allow you to uh, compensate the other trading that you do. So again, this strategy is to put income on a monthly basis to help what you already do and help on the diversification of your own portfolio. Then you have XYLD, same idea, S&P 500, you see low range of price fluctuations, income steady. Now let's see an, a few examples on the commodity markets. As you know, here at Market Uncharted, we believe commodities will be a really profitable a strategy for the next decade. And how can we take profit from it? Again, these are not to gain profit by increase on the price fluctuations, but yes, to diversify and have income. You have the HEE, which is the Horizons Enhanced Income Energy ETF for people that want to be exposed to the sector of oil and gas. Then we have SLVO, which is the Credit Suisse x links Silver Shares Covered Call, which basically helps uh, here to, to, to be exposed to the silver price and gain from it. HGY, which is the Horizons Gold Yield ETF, exposed to gold, gain income. And then the HEP, Horizons Enhanced Income Gold Producers. So this is for to be exposed to miners inside the gold and silver um, sector. Again, take a look just about the graphs. Uh, the, the commodity sector is a different story regarding what is happening. Why? Because we had huge price fluctuations. So HEE uh, on oil sector and gas has more volatility. 
just for you to have an idea. But basically, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoy it. The series about options trading 101, three videos. Take a look on all of those. Do your own due diligence and diversify your portfolio. Knowledge is not power. Knowledge is potential power. Execution is everything. And don't forget, just like the markets, we will not rest.